Welcome to AutoTextMe integration training. In this session, we're going to show you how TechMetric and AutoTextMe work together at the current integration level. This is a pretty seamless integration, so let's jump right in. I'm logged in right now as a technician. You can see I have Joe Paluca on my board. This ticket has already been created for me in TechMetric, and a few work order assignments have already been made in the estimate as well. You can see that the client concern was to uh, change the oil and a transmission drain and fill. And you can also see that a uh, work order has already been pre-built for that and an oil change. So let's go back in here. We can open the work order as the technician. And here you can see any parts and labor that were associated to those jobs in TechMetric. And we can also then go straight into the DVI. And I've already pre-built some of this information in the DVI for us here. But in a typical process, when the technician clicks on something in this DVI, and I'll just go ahead and engage a, uh, a status toggle there on this item, the vehicle will move from that check-in status automatically into that inspection status. I'm gonna go back into the DVI, I'll use this button here. And then we'll just go and we'll say we're all done. Um, we'll show you how to use the DVI in other videos. Um, in this case, I just wanna show you that when you mark the job as complete, oh, wait, you need to acknowledge that reason the vehicle's here, right? So we'll hit okay on that. We'll acknowledge that we did uh, verify that. Yeah, we're going to take care of that oil change and that drain and fill, right? So now I can go back down and I can click here to complete the inspection. With that done, really the technician side of it at this stage is pretty complete. But what you might want to do, and you can leave this up to you for whether the service advisor or the technician is involved in this part of the process, you can send it straight to the service management system. So I'm going to do that right now. This will send the inspection results right into TechMetric. When you get the green light, that means it was successful. We can go back in here, I can go to this inspections tab and you'll see that I have now imported my inspection results. Everything that I marked good and bad will show up here, any notes and pictures as well. I didn't add any notes in my inspection in this case. I can go back and do that momentarily. I could re resend this, it'll uh, update accordingly. With that cabin air filter added, your service advisor is gonna know that hey, we need to estimate more work, right? So we can go ahead and we can do that. We can add to this estimate and this work order. Even though we already generated a work order in AutoTextMe, that's no problem. We can add a can job. We should have a can job here for a cabin filter, right? Here it is. We'll add that. There's our labor. We'll hit save. We should add a part two. Let's add the part from the labor guide. Oh, let's add the part from something else. Let's add a part. We'll do this from inventory. Here's our cabin air filter. We'll put that in. Now we'll hit save. All right, so we've added a new job now, right? Service advisor has done this. Whether it's authorized or not really doesn't matter yet at this stage. As long as it's on the invoice, we actually can go and regenerate this in AutoTextMe. If the service advisor has received authorization, you can toggle that in TechMetric here. We'll receive verbal approval. And what's nice about this is when I go back, I can go to the work in progress screen here and I can specify whether I need to order parts or waiting on parts or what. The full status sync with AutoTextMe can be very useful in this. So I'll move it to that status right now. And when I go back here and I'm lead the technician again, you can see that the inspection was completed, right? And uh, with the work authorized, actually, it would have jumped straight to the waiting on technician status, right? Um, the statuses don't move backwards yet, even though we put on waiting on parts. So it will be right here on waiting on tech. And that's fine. We're going to go actually into that work order. And you'll see right now, we still only have those first two items. But if there's additional work that was generated, you can use the internal chat to let your technician know, or you can regenerate this for him as a service advisor. But you hit that button and it will go ahead and audit that. It'll pull in our new cabin air filter job. You see our other jobs are unaffected by that. And this is uh, pretty simple. Like if for some reason you even accidentally deleted one of these jobs from here, you'd be able to re-add them from that regenerate button. It's trying to reconcile auto text me with whatever you have in TechMetric. Uh, so technician can actually clock in. You see this one's actually assigned to the technician because we didn't have our technician assigned when we first created this one earlier. It'll automatically assign to your tech when they uh, mark it complete. Technicians can submit the work order. 
and the progress can also be updated here in Techmetric as well. So if it was in progress, we could have moved it straight into that servicing status. It'll update right there. And of course, if we mark the job as complete in Techmetric, when we confirm it here, we'll update here, you'll see Joe Paluca is now in that quality control status. They switch places because I have it sorting by status right now. If you don't like it that way, you can sort by repair order. A lot of different ways you can organize your screen. Our technician, Lee, should be done with this vehicle. He can complete that form in Techmetric. Service advisor also could go ahead and just close this out, right? We can take payment. We'll take cash, pay that in full. And when this is actually posted, that will also clear this ticket straight from the page. When I refresh this, Joe Blue will drop straight off the board. So that's the basic process. Lots of flexibility here in the system, but the key integration features with Techmetric are all in place so that you can actually begin to customize this however you wish. Uh, stay tuned for any administration training videos. In this particular case, we just want you to understand that your workflow can be assimilated between these two systems quite nicely. Thanks for watching.